war of humans and monsters. The war of humans and monsters. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. You'd feel like that. None of the monsters have been too hostile to us. Humans I'm just bad at games. are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Why? But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this trouble. Welcome back, travelers. As you just saw, that was the history of humans and monsters. Oh, look! It's pure darkness. Oh. Another shadowy bit. Shadow bit there, what up? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. It's her. Yeah, but now I can do it and defend against her. Cool. Good thing this is like just a pretty straightforward path, too. Because, I mean, if it's got any more complicated, I'm sure Joe can take a ton of damage. Uh oh. Yeah, like that. Okay, good. This is your opportunity to... Do you know where we are? It's so much as the kid monster. Yes, he's, the kid monster known as Monster Kid. He's so happy. He's like, did you see that? She touched me. <laughs> there he is. Just vibrating. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Yep. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. You were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Yep. Oh, face plant. Don't wash it. Don't wash that face. You have to wash your face, son. Oh, look. The cheese! Is that cheese? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal. Gives me the termination! That's exactly right, Carol. That is exactly right. Hey, look! Hey, there's my pal. Hello! Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope. But, since I know you, you can use it for free. Thanks. Do you want to use it? Okay. Why not? Well, it's just looking at a, something like a red. It just looks like a bunch of red. I don't know why. Okay. It's weird, isn't it? It is. Why is there so much red? Okay. Hmm. Oh. Huh. 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 Wow. Wow. <laughs> Use the box. Oh, yeah, because we have the... Two-two. The two-two. That's the two-two. Two. It is a tutu. A tutu for you, you. <gasps> it's that guy again. Yeah. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. <laughs> Maybe because you're inside of a cave. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. What is that? Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a good punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free and ice cream. They're sure to get customers some back, and they don't have to be punched at all. I love the idea. They are they're called punch cards, and he doesn't use them as punch cards. It's so good. Oh, one cards. Oh, you got a punch card. That's 
That's great. You got a punch card. I wish it would give us punch for getting punch cards. So this is gonna cut out. What's a star? What's a phone? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? <laughs> Are you a star? Yes. Aw, oh, good. Baby, I'm a star. You have no idea how mentally healthy that is. Hey, look, it's a duck. Uh, uh, uh. Joe, it's not that good of a duck. Please calm down. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, the music. So yeah, this place is. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, hmm. just one, but it's kind of stupid. Stupid, idiot, wish! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? We got some mold smalls. Okay, thanks, bye. Ooh, double spare. That's a bowling. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Yes, we're it. becoming a ballerina. You're carrying too much. No! Yes. We'll go back for those. To go with your tutu? Yeah. Yeah. Because cool we got like an armor like bonus. Oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend you wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. <laughs> But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. <laughs> yeah, so. We did it. Yeah, because we definitely changed the out of the tutu. Yep. Washua. Uh, yes, of course. Is Washua the duck or the turtle? It's the turtle. The turtle is Washua. Oh, it's a turtle! I thought it was like a duck no, floating the inside in... of a suit of armor like Minion from... From, from not despicably, from the good villain turned hero story. Yeah. Uh, Mega Mike. You hear a passing conversation? I liked this. Don't say that! Me. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Mega Mike is good. This it is. It is very good. It's the best. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Oh, it's a continuation of the War of Humans and Monsters. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, you wanted an octopus, Carol. Yeah. Uh oh. At some point during the series, you said something about wanting an octopus. That's adorable. Hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onionson. Onions and you here. <laughs> Just keep walking. <laughs> You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's a great time here, huh? You'll love it. Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. What's your small favorite? <laughs> me. Even though the water's <laughs> getting so shallow here, <laughs> I have to sit down all the time, but hey, hey. That's okay. It beats moving to the city <laughs> and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Why are there so many of your characters from like California or something? And the aquarium's <laughs> full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I. That's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? I do hear. Mm. I hear. Hey, hey, hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll, I'll see you around. Have a good time in the waterfall. <laughs> Great job. Nailed it. Expertly done. Uh oh. It's a Shiren. Hides in the corner. Uh, I get it. Somehow it's in your way. Check. Always check. Tone deaf. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. Oh. Wait. There you go. Jeez. Hums very faintly. Should we hum with her? Let's Should do we? it. Let's do it. We're running up that building! <laughs> you yeah, I'm a jazz ballad. 
Shire and follows your melody. That doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't, does it? You are Running up that hill. <laughs> running up that building. Yeah, see, she wasn't kidding. Yeah. She is down there. Yep. I reserve a Ah. See, making her happy means she attacked you more, which is the opposite of most monsters, but. But a nice twist. Mm hmm. The northern room hides a great treasure. Oh, treasure! Wait, is this the switch room? This is the secret room, yeah. So, square, Are we doing something? side down, side up. What does that mean? There's a piano here. I Play think it. it's a, like a button and then the pads, right? There's a piano here. Play it. I'm gonna try. Okay. I don't think those are the order the notes go in. I think those are just showing us what note we're playing. Uh, so we gotta find the notes somewhere else. Yeah. We'll find it. Okay. Doug Dimmodome. A hunting song echoes down the corridor. Only the first eight are fine. What? What? We may come back to this, because this sounds compelling. Yes. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an the incredible virus. power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, it never will. Can a human absorb another human soul? No. Well, what's... It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. That's the puzzle, I believe. Hey, look. Take an umbrella? Yeah. You took an umbrella. Okay. Please take one. You're okay. welcome. Put the umbrella on the statue. Yeah. You place the umbrella atop the statue. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. It was too wet to play before. Yes. Okay. Zero. Up, up. No. no. Zero up upside. Side. Zero. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is why. Zero upside. Zero down downside. Okay. I did it. I hit the exact thing. Doesn't need to be faster. You forgot you the have zero. To hold it. Oh. Uh. Zero. Up. Side. You have to press A on the note. Oh. oh. Okay. I okay. Or do you want to do it? Zero up side. Zero down down side. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Wow. What do we got? What is that? It's a, a le legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yeah. Ah! Oh my lanta! Use a band-aid on yourself. Just do, do like do something. Okay. Trash the band-aid. Wear a tutu. We are wearing the tutu. Oh, wait, are you wearing the the shoes? We didn't get the shoes. Oh, that's right. You reapplied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? You're carrying too many dogs. What? Carol, do you see it? Yeah. What is it? It's an annoying it? dog. Should we drop it? Do you want to drop the annoying dog or do you want to learn about it? What do you do? Info. The dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Oh my gosh. What? Can we use it? Do you want to, do you want to try and use the annoying dog? How do you use, yeah, use it. Use it. You deployed the dog. The dog absorbs the artifact. Well, dog residue. Oh, look, we have dog residue. Uh, that's great. It's a jigsaw puzzle left unfinished by a dog. That is technically residue. We have something to do with this, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> just like, just, she's like, why is this happening? 
I don't like that you guys know so much more about this. We used an annoying dog. Yes, and he absorbed the artifact. Oh, look. That was annoying. Oh, yeah, because you only take one of the umbrellas. Can we get another umbrella? I don't want this poor guy to fall on his wet face. Oh, yes. He was never going to wash it. Yeah, that's why. Take an umbrella? He took an umbrella. And somehow it's the exact same color as it was before. Yeah, they're all red. We have a favorite color, I guess. Yeah. It's a good choice. <laughs> so Yo, you got eye. us an umbrella! You're the best! That's what I went back for. Let's go! Let's ride! Okay. Lots of water. Lots of walking. I like how his dialogue is, you got us an umbrella. He automatically assumes he's gonna come with you. <laughs> Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. By the way, what are you? <laughs> Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Girl's like, I'm wetting the bed right now. <laughs> so one, one time, time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Ah, uh, yes. Every student's dream. I'm not even a student. I want to see one certain teacher beat, uh, beat up. Thanks. It's okay, it's uh, okay. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teacher. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. That's right. Sounds like Undyne isn't a bad guy either. Look at that parallax scroll. This is cool. Yeah. What's he looking at? Can I talk to you? I can't talk to you. Guess he was just waiting. Why would he be waiting? He you're, was behind us. You're just too slow. <laughs> he was behind us. Hey, look. You need an umbrella? Let's put it back. Return the umbrella. You return the umbrella. It's the communist society. The umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Cause I'm in too steep and I'm trash. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. You you need arms to have shoulders. Apparently it worked. Whoa. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. I can fly. <laughs> Just sprouts wings. Chili dogs. Chili dogs. Ah. The swamp. The humans. With determination. Afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. The breach. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters, too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters returned to dust. And with that, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're on a bridge. Bye. Travel well. I'm on a bridge! I'm on a bridge! Everybody look at me, because I'm standing on a bridge!